Last Friday in our calculus class, we had a, a test on limits and continuity and definition of derivative, basic of derivatives. And our students had a problem with this one right here, 17a. And I'd like to go over this. And what we have is determine the limit as h approaches 0 of 4 times 23 plus h squared minus 23 plus h minus this quantity here. Uh, in parentheses, 4 times 3 squared minus 3, all over h. And this should be apparent to students of calculus as a definition of a derivative problem. So we're going to go ahead and work this out. So we'll bring down equals limit as h approaches 0 of this, which we are going to somewhat simplify here. Uh, we're going to expand this uh, quantity 3 plus h squared. So 3 squared is going to be 9. And this will be 3h times 2. So we're going to have plus 6h. And then lastly, h squared. h times h is h squared. And so it's 4 times this expansion here. We're going to break out this parentheses here. We'll have minus 3 and minus h. And then we're going to have minus. I'm going to continue to put this quantity in parentheses. 4 times 3 squared is 36. And then we have minus 3. Next we're going to Bring this down and simplify further. The limit equals the limit as h approaches 0 of, now we're going to distribute out to 4 times each term inside the parentheses. 4 times 9 is 36. 4 times 6h is plus 24h. 4 times h squared is 4h squared. And we have minus 3, minus h, minus 36. And we have minus negative 3, which is going to come out as plus 3, and all over h. Now what we'll do is, is uh, we should be able to cancel stuff all over the place. Here we have 36 minus 36 cancellation. We have minus 3 plus 3 and we're going to combine like terms. So we have, we have equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of now we have 24h minus h, which is going to be 23h. And we have plus 4h squared all over h. And this quantity is going to be equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of we're going to break, because we have a common denominator, we have 23h over h plus 4h squared over h. And simplifying further, uh, we have h over h cancel out, and this h squared over h will cancel out to be 4h. So we bring down what we have left, which is the limit as h approaches 0 of 23 plus 4h. And now we're going to substitute in a 0 for h. So this expression equals to 23 plus 4 times 0 which equals 23. So based on uh, working out the definition of derivative, 
our answer will be 23, which we place up here. And I was hoping that more students would have recognized in this the kind of a pattern, the definite derivative pattern, where we have uh, x plus h, any place there's an x. And so we would call this expression here 3 plus h. If, if 3 would be uh, the value for x, that would be 4 times x squared minus x. And we see this really verified when we subtract over here on the right. And I was especially hoping that would be, and, and so if you work it out that way, you would be looking at the term of the limit of 4 x, we'd say, we'd say f of x equals 4x squared minus x. And just taking the derivative of this, which would be f prime of x, would be equal to 8x minus 1. And then f prime of 3 would be 8 times 3 minus 1, which would be equal to 23. So just recognizing the form this is in could have allowed at least a double check. And going here to uh, 17b, we see that 17b is exactly that, that problem that I, we just worked out. So this one, uh, f prime of x, would again be equal to 8x minus 1. So therefore, f prime of, of 3 would be equal to 8 times 3 minus 1, which would equal 23. So this is a basic definition of derivative problem. And I hope this has been helpful and that uh, my students and anybody watching will be able to more easily recognize this in the future. Thanks for viewing.